I'm just curious to see how much one of these sheets weighs, so I put my postal scale underneath here. I'm going to see if I can get a reading. Wow. This is about 100 pounds a sheet. Wow, that's really heavy. you got to know what you're doing if you're moving these sheets by yourself. I wouldn't be able to do it without that panel carry helper. I should have three of those things. I always lose it. Sometimes these sheets get damaged during shipment. You'll get indentations like this. I have to go over it and feel it because sometimes they're just very light scuff marks that will sand off with 220 grit in just a couple passes. But if it actually makes an indentation, it can't be sanded out because then you'll sand all the way through the veneer because it's so thin. So I have to watch out for these things and make sure that there are no other defects. You have to get the low angle of the light to hit the sheet to be able to see where the indentations are. There's another one over here. A little piece of something got stuck in there between the sheets. So I have my panels cut to the rough dimension that they need to be. It's about an eighth inch to a quarter inch oversized in both the length and width. And so now I'm going to do some light sanding. And I'm actually going to pre-finish these panels. I'm going to start the finishing process before I put them together. And that way I can tone these a little bit darker because the solid walnut has a darker tone than the veneered walnut. So uh, I'm going to just try to work with that and get it a little bit closer so that this won't be so light. Because the customer really liked the contrast of the dark solid walnut with the maple. And then these veneered sheets came in and the walnut was ten shades lighter, which sometimes happens. I think it's just a variation in where the material is sourced from. Wherever this is, the walnut just grows a little bit lighter. I don't know.
Okay, so I have my four panels pre-finished. These have been drying about 36 hours. And I have a problem. <laughs> I thought everything was turning out good. Everything looked good when I applied the product, but when it dried, I ended up with two different colors on these panels. So you can see that this panel is a couple shades darker than this one. And then these two panels over here are also different. That one is darker and that one is a couple shades lighter as well. So, geez, <laughs> what do I do about that? Why did that happen? I'm not really sure. I think it has something to do with the grain orientation of the veneer. Like this veneer was slightly more flat sawn in orientation and this was more tighter quarter sawn grain and so this took more stain than that panel and that's why there is a difference or it could also be a difference in density it could be that this tree was denser than this tree I don't know but I end up with two different colors here and I can either be like well Maybe the customer won't notice. Maybe the lighting in the room won't be very good. And they won't see that there's a difference. But I can see there's, there's quite a difference in color. And I think it might be a problem. So I wasn't really expecting this, but this is what happens sometimes working with expensive materials. <laughs> It's scary to think each one of these panels cost $200 and now I have two different colors. <laughs> Welcome to high end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand these two light panels and I'm going to try to tone it to get the color to even out. I did some tests yesterday with some products that I had. I did a test piece with the, with the sample. So this is just the finish after I sanded it and I applied some different products here trying to get this to darken up. I actually had some success with this one here. This was the darkest stain I have. So I can get this to, to darken up a bit. So this lighter wood will then match this darker color. So let's see if that works. I don't think it's going to hurt it. It's going to make the finishing a little bit more complicated, but I think I'll be able to get the color to even out on these two light panels. So I'm going to sand this with, uh, I think, 220 or 320 grit. Okay, so I darkened the two light panels. This, this, I, I darkened this one, and I darkened this one. This was the, the lightest panel. And so this helped out a lot. I got these two colors to match. This was the lightest panel, and this was the darkest panel. And so I darkened this one, and I think I got the color to, to be pretty close. So that helped out a lot. 
but I have a slight variation with this one. This one was darker, but not as dark as that other one. And so I darkened this one, and now there's this one needs to be just a little bit darker, but not much. This panel I just darkened up a little bit and it turned out just the way I wanted it to. So now the color is almost indistinguishable between all of these panels. Okay, so I'm gonna apply a product called a grain filler. And I've never used this kind of product before so I mixed up a small batch and did some test samples. And what this product is supposed to do is rub on like a paste and fill up the pores of the wood. So coarse grain woods like mahogany, walnut, and oak, you can apply this grain filler and that just helps even out the surface to give you a nice smooth glass-like surface. <laughs> 